Sandra Perry is a New Jersey-born interdisciplinary artist whose video and computer-based installations are her most accomplished mediums of artistic expression. Using digital tools such as Chroma 3D Blue Screen, 3D Avatar, etc., combined with the platforms such as YouTube, the found material constructs a multi-angle narrative, critically reflect the essence behind the table rule, exploring the historical process and the dark realms that cannot be ignored. She also used her own life as a starting point to create specific around the exploration of the black experiences and the identity in America. And her critique of media sensation and institutionalization, racism is a recurring theme in her work. Typhoon Coming On is Sandra Perry's first solo exhibition in Europe. She has created an immersive environment with a newly convinced soundscape to accompany the exhibition main work. She believes that digital technology is a power, an attribute, and another tool for renaming the possibility of network collectives. As the artist put it, I'm interested in thinking about how black people transform, morph, and embody technique to conquer oppression and surveillance from overseas. Black, in fact, is angel. Perry expressed abstract through chroma key blue screen technology ideas erased or expressed as a synergy. These visual effects and the post-production technique allow images or videos to, to be composited together. This technique, used by Perry, suggests that the visitor truly became a participant in the context of the installation, entering the work and in the tongue is developed through the post-production techniques. And this blue has also become Paris' digital space. Entering the gallery, the sea swirl from spots come into view. This massive work is not made of water, but a computer synthesized work of paint effect. The video intermittently switches these waves and oil strikes in sober white and bronzed orange. As participants move along the video walls on these three sides of the Sparrington Gallery, this mighty sea of color, yellow, red, oily brown, form a thick curved surface and unhealthy spots like a hard bacon fat nodules. Detail very clear. Paris' installation is related to Tuner's art. This immersive installation environment, specifically designed by the Sparrington Gallery, is another of Paris' work, wet and wavy. A series of seamless projects flow through the gallery space, accompanied by a new and soundscape. The projection videos begin with an ocean animation created by the artist using the Ocean Modifier, a tool in the open source software blender that allows users to simulate, generate, and deform the surface of the ocean. In her video, the ocean is purple, as in color warning displayed on the software when the simulation goes wrong. The animation then incorporates digital pressed images of Tuner's 1840 paint slave ship and every so often on the projection changes to image of slaves being through from the ship, death and a time approaching. The origin picture shows the rough sea, the morning sun is reflected on the sea, the dazzling light, the close-up of the dead fish and the corpse of the slaves are mixed together and the boat that transports the slave sails into the distance. Tuna's canvas is the most harrowing and painful of the Atlantic slave trade. The glowing, rolling water fills the body, swimming, struggling, sinking. Sharks race over helpless weepers, a fairy, sickly sky burned with red and gold mannequin. Purple clouds fill sailboats that look stone. At this moment, nature is ruthless to victims and predators. Graft Nash Mojo after a bicycle worker station with the blind head of three video screens above the head burners is a self-portrait of Perry himself failed addressing the contemporary capitalism of contradiction definition of success of monogamy. Perry appears invisibly in the piece, particularly as an animated hand that floats in and out of the virtual space. 
The space around the audience and the gallery is instilled in the words. An action automatically spoke by Perry on the screen, with eyes and hands arranged in triumphant across the three screens. The variety of Perry's forms reveals an underlying struggle, underpinned by embodied self, that ultimately finds itself destroyed and destroyed. Visitor wanting to watch the two videos mounted on the bike have to put themselves in an uncomfortable position, and needs to sit on the exercise bike close to the display. The avatar of the art explaining in a computer-driven way in the basic justice. How faith in the world is harmful to people repressed by harmful anti-black racism. Abstraction and absence make the exhibition participatory. You are forced to fill the blanks, to put in work, sometimes even physically. One setup includes an exercise bike and three screens that surround the rider's face. Suddenly, the background switches from blue to an extra close-up of Harry's screen, tumbling, looking both melted and smuggled. Paris had once asked, "How does your body feel inside us?" Paris sees abstraction abstraction as a natural artistic expression that gives her freedom of expression, an extensive of visual languages, and she also have been expressed, expressing her opinions and views on black themes in modern media in an abstract way.